They are the worst kids in the history of the world. Who are they? They are the Herdmans. I'm gonna take you to lunch today. I don't care. I get all the refreshments at Sunday school. Is that true? Yes. Who gives them to you? The minister. What happened to your tool house? It got burned down by a criminal free step. What do you feel about the Herdmans? Mm, nah. Mm. They're kind of mean. Okay, how would you feel when they burned down Fred Shoemaker's shed? I actually felt pretty good because we, th um, the whole neighborhood or the whole town thought it was going to attract like mice and all that. So we just like, washed it and let it burn. I'm Mrs. Herdman. Okay, so Mrs. Herdman, where are you usually at when your children are running around? I'm usually working. Um, I usually work all day and sometimes most of the nights. Okay. Are you an only parent? Yes. After their dad left. Okay. Where did he leave to? He mostly jumped on the train and left. Well, that's kind of weird. So why are you always working and not with your children? Because I never really want to deal with them. I don't really have someone who can help me take care of them and show them the rights and the wrongs, but they won't even listen anyways. They don't even listen to me. So why don't your kids look like you? Something went wrong at their birth. I think they were switched out. Oh, so. Oh, goodness. Well, that's kind of bad. Yeah. Do you think you would have had nicer children if they, if you think they didn't get switched out? I don't know. They probably wouldn't have listened to me anyways. Well, why do you say that? Because they don't listen to me. <laughs> Can you, so, what did you ask the students to do? I asked them to write down what they liked about Sunday school. So, what did Charlie say? He was glad that the Herdmans did not come to Sunday school. Are you glad that the Herdmans do not come to Sunday school? Somewhat. So, who are you? I am Charlie. So, why did you put that you were glad the Hermans don't go to church? Well, they're so mean. So, such a disaster and so ruthless. I'm Alice Wendelkin. Okay, what do you think about people telling you you have cooties? I do not have cooties. I repeat, I do not have cooties. Cooties is so embarrassing. What do you think about the Herdmans going to the church pageant? They should not be in the church pageant. They are just rude and they are not welcome. I mean, they should be. I'm the teacher. So, how did you feel about cats? Cats horrify me. They're, they're deadly. Very deadly. Are you ever going to go near cats again? No, never. Ever? No. How did you feel when a Herman was in your class? Herman's frightened. Every time that I have one in my class, I always get a panic attack before the year begins. It's terrible. Who are you? Plot. Okay. Um, well, why did you bring the cat into school? Duh, it's show and tell. Well, if it was show and tell, don't, shouldn't you bring something in that's not alive? She never said no. Okay. Why do you think the cat attacked the teacher? she's an idiot. Oh! <laughs> you just called the teacher an idiot. How rude. <laughs> Who are you? Ralph. Okay. Why do you think your brother took the cat to school? To show off. I mean, he's the best cat in the world. Okay. <laughs> did you... Did the donuts taste good? 
They were great. The best donuts I've ever had. Who are you? Okay, so what's your part in the Christmas play? Okay, so how do you feel when you attacked all the kids? No, oh, you're so good. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Come on, Mr. Armstrong, turn off my potato! Don't let those kids over the trailer from my head! What about the pageant? Are you in pain? Yeah, you're all pain. Calm you're gonna have to do it, okay? Calm you got down, it? ma'am, calm down. No, I'm in charge of the Christmas pageant. Okay. Is the pageant what you thought it was going to be like? Yes, the whole Mary and Joseph thing and all the Herdmans did really well and I was re really surprised. Would you want to be in charge again? Yes, I would love to be in charge again. It was so much fun. <sighs> Imogene got Mary. I backed up because Imogene threatened to put Pussy Willow in my ear. She would do it too. You wouldn't think a Pussy Willow could grow in an ear but Ollie Herdman did it to someone once. One day, a kid had a terrible earache, and he went to the nurse, and the nurse said that he had something growing in there. How embarrassing. So, who are you? So, who are you? I'm Mrs. Wimmer called Alice Wimmerkin's mother. Okay, how do you feel about your daughter wrote in her diary? Well, it might be true. Imogene Herman may be drinking communion wine. Um, so, how do you feel about Imogene being Mary in the pageant and not your daughter? Not fair. Um, Alice always says Imogene in the Christmas pageant, so I don't think um, Imogene should have been it because she threatened Allison to put a pussy roll down her ear. So, so who are you? I'm Imogene Herdman. Okay, why don't people like you? What? People don't like you? Okay, going on. Do you really look at people? Uh, no. What are oh, you about? people's weight. Do you really look at people's weight? No. What are you talking about? How is the pageant? Amazing, but only because I'm in it. Do you care about Jesus? Um, what kind of question is that? So, how did you get a black eye? Um, I ran into a cafe. I got them all. Okay, so, how did you feel when you got a pushy willow down your ear when you were younger? I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Yeah. Heard you had to go into surgery to get it out. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. How did you feel when Ollie got a pussy willow down his ear? I yelled at the top of my lungs. Um. Okay, um, what was your reaction when you figured out that Imogene had the chicken box? Um, I felt the kids that were in danger that were in her class. Okay. I'm Mrs. Armstrong. Okay, what do you do as your job? I am director of the business pageant, pageant, or at least I was. I'm not anymore. I am also the coordinator of the Potluck Lady Supper and I am chairman of the Lady Day Bazaar Dinner. Okay, exactly how do you, how did you break your leg? Well, I was on the table trying to replace the light bulb and I fell off because I lost my balance and I'm in terrible pain. How do you think the pageant's going to go? A disaster! If I was in charge, it'd be awesome, amazing, awesomely amazing. Did you know that the Hermans were involved? What? Exactly why? Uh, why did you go to church? Charlie, he just told me there's, he told us there's desserts and everything, and I like dessert. Do you pick a line in the Christmas pageant? Hey, unto you, a child is born. Okay. Do you think the pageant is going well? Yep. Well, why do you think it's going well? Well, I'm here. I'm glad it's hurting me. Okay. I heard that you pierced your sister's ears. Is that true? <laughs> okay. Um, why did you pierce your sister's ears? She wanted me to.
Were they good? I would say so. Well, can you pierce mine? Sure. <laughs> what is your role? Joseph. Do you think you're, do you like your part in the pageant? Yes. So, how do you feel about being in the pageant? Good, I get a main role, that's good. Who are you in the pageant? A wise man. You're a wise man? Which wise man? One, two, or three? One. Okay. Um, so, how do you feel like your other brothers and sisters and you act? I'm, the, I'm clearly the best actor there. <laughs> do you think you make a good Mary? Uh, what kind of question is that? Everyone thinks that they do good, but they actually sucked. And their mom just says, oh, you did so good. And they really didn't. So, yeah, of course I did. So, what's your name? Uh, well, it, it, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, my mom's like running the pageant. That's all you really need to know. Okay, are you sad you didn't get a big role in the pageant? No. I mean, you're, my mom's running the Christmas pageant, and then it's boring anyways. I mean, but it was pretty funny watching the Herdmans in the first rehearsal. I mean, you know, it's, they're just the Herdmans. I mean, they're, bleh. they're themselves. Okay. How do you feel about your mother running the pageant with the Herdmans? Well, um, I think she made a really big mistake. I mean... You know, she's going to get so much stress just picking the Herdmans anyways. Like, phone calls, you know, dis people gris disagreeing with her, people getting mad at her for picking them. So, I think she made a really big mistake. I mean, Mrs. Mrs. Armstrong would have just picked the normal ones, you know, Alice Wendelkin for Mary, and then the minister's son for Joseph. So, I think she's in a really big mess. Okay. What do you think about Imogene threatening Alice about the pussy willow? Sounds like something a herdman would do. I mean, you know, Ollie did it once, so it has to be possible. I mean, they had to take him to the hospital and everything, so I would back off and Mary, too. Do you, do you think the pageant is going well? Hmm, not so well. <laughs> so, have you had a square meal since your dad came in here and said he hasn't had a square meal in forever? Uh, I don't mind it too much. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Shepherds over here, angels over here. What's a shepherd? What's the end? An inn is like an a, a hotel to be in. Um, Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem, and there's some no room ahead at the end. My God, not even for Jesus? Oh. And Mary was great with child. <laughs> Pregnant. Jesus! Jesus is the wonderful counselor. He's the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Angel of the Lord came down. Shazam! What? It's a black and white, right? Kind of. It makes me on it? Kind of. Shut up. <laughs> so, what's your role in the town? I'm the librarian. Okay, then. How do you, what do you think about the Herdmans? That the meanest, dirtiest, and the biggest brat alive. Yay. I need library card. Mm, no. Definitely not. I'm family. I would be fine. What do you need? I need books on hair and Mickey's book. Mm. Over there. Get out. It says right here, Harrodin died in his bed. You know what we're thinking? He should have been hung. So, who are you? Minister. Okay. What do you feel about your son being in the pageant? He's a necessary part of the Christmas pageant. Are you having trouble with the community calling you for the Christmas pageant? Mm -hmm. Sort of. So what are they saying to you? Are they like yelling at you like, no, don't put the Hermans in the pageant? Or, oh, I love that the Hermans are in the pageant. They're screaming at me. Who are you? Um, the minister's son. Okay. How good of an actor do you think you are? Mm, 
good enough. Good enough. So, do you think the pageant's going well? Yeah, pretty much. So, who are you in the pageant? Shepard. You're Shepard. Do you like that role? Yeah. Do you think your dad was happy that you got a lower part than what you usually have? So and so. So, who are you? I'm the dad. Okay. Do you care about the Christmas pageant? No, not really. How did you feel when Charlie took your bathrobe? I felt bad because I was. That's what I really like. I really like my bathrobe. It was fun. <laughs> okay. How how do you how are you feeling right now? Hungry. Very, 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 very hungry. You're hungry? Yes. So, um, during the Christmas pageant, why did you go to the Christmas pageant? I wanted to get my robe back. What did you do after the pageant was over? I went to get my robe. want to bring him bath salt. So we brought him ham. Hey, a two you a child is born. When Imogene asked me what the pageant was about, I told her that it was about Jesus, but that was just part of it. It was about a baby. And his mother and father. Who were in a lot of trouble. No money. No place to go. No doctor. No baby they know. And they're arriving from the east, some rich friends. But Imogene didn't see it that way. Christmas just came over her all at once. Like a case of the chills and fever. So she started crying and walking into everything. It was the best Christmas pageant 